My name is Naomi Astley Clark and I'm an interior designer based in London, but we work all over the world. As a child, I'd always moved my bedroom around and someone pointed out to me sort of after I finished my degree and I thought, what do I want to do? They said, every time I come over, you're moving your room around. Why don't you do a course? And I'd never actually, in all honesty, taken that much of an interest. But I did a course at the Inchbold School of Design and then from there got my first job and the rest is history. I've been working ever since. We always start every project by looking at the floor plan and looking at how the client and their friends or their family are going to live within a space. Once you've devised the perfect floor plan and layout, you then layer on the next steps. Finishes, appliances, joinery, and it really is a list of items that you go through and the creative process is sort of woven into that. If I had to recommend three timeless pieces for the home, I would say a beautiful Drummond's roll top bath. They are the most exquisite bath, the best of British craftsmanship. I would say a rug company rug. I, I love everything from the rug company and their designs are timeless and long lasting. And books, books always complete a room and they are very personal to a space and timeless. Three ways to update your home if you're on a budget are, you know, a lick of paint, and that can be anything from you with a roller or getting a friend who's particularly artistic to do a mural. If you wanted to work on your soft furnishings, you know, things like just changing up your cushions for something new, fresh, that, that can really work. And, and sometimes just scooching your furniture around a bit can make a space feel refreshed, even if it's using exactly the same things. At the higher end, New kitchens are the best way to uplift a property. Rethink your lighting. Always lighting is, is essential and it's constantly evolving. And actually back to the painting, you could get some hand-painted wallpapers or um, a mural artist to do, to do something extraordinary. Usually with a project, we will put together a box or a board for a client to present to them or to let them sort of play around themselves. This, this um, is a project in central London and the kitchen, this is the, the kitchen floor, this is a smoked oak and we will tend to get a sample made up for approval prior to getting anything put in the flat into the, the project. This is um, the finish for the kitchen cabinets, which is a green and we simply sent the paint reference colour to the joiner he s sends us this for us to approve. This actual kitchen has got a brass inlay, um, rather like this one here. So I sent this panel to the joiner first so he could see what we wanted in terms of this lovely mitered corner and the, and the brass. This is the splashback that we're gonna have, which is a mirror with gold flex. We also love looking at sort of specialist finishes. This is a brass, burnished brass that we've used on a door in the same project that's just out of, out of view of this kitchen, but it had to work within the scheme. And so a box like this is a really useful tool for a client because they can see everything coming together. And if something's not quite right for them, they can just take it out and see the space without it. And, and I, I think they do find this very useful. Designing someone's home can be a long process and it can be an expensive process and we get to know each other so well during that process, me and my clients, and I always want them to feel super excited when they finally walk into the finished space. To learn more about my house style and other tips on interior design, read my article on Portfolio by Savills.